Hey guys, Jonathan Selinski here with Long Range Tactics and Distinguished Tactical. Today on NRL Tips, we're going over the bucket. The bucket offers some unique challenges, mainly because the bucket itself is too low to use a higher supported position, like a high kneeling, but it's too high that you can't use like a prone position or some of the lower positions. Two main things you can use for support on the bucket. You can either use your bipods or you can use a bag. Personally, I prefer a bag because it gets me a little bit lower and more stable onto the bucket itself. And a bipod just creates a pivot point now that I'll end up rocking back and forth on. Also, most of the positions in an NRL match require you to go to multiple positions off of the bucket. So either you're prone on the ground beforehand or you're going to a different barricade. You may not always have the bipod in the ideal position for any of those other positions. So it's better to have your bipod all the way out so that you can use it for prone and then use a bag when you go up on the bucket so that you're not having to worry about your bipod being in the way. So the first thing you're gonna do is place your bag. With my barricade bag, I prefer to put it upside down. That way it kind of hugs the rifle since I have enough surface area. I wanna get the bag as close to my magazine as possible. That way the, the rifle balance is better. Now my rifle still needs a weight kit in the front, so if I let go on the back, it's gonna tilt back. But if you have a more balanced rifle, it's got a weight kit in the front, or maybe you're running a heavier barrel with a suppressor on the end, it should balance pretty nicely. There's a couple of different positions you can do with your body that allow for a very stable position, even though it gets low. The first one's gonna be a, a low double kneel. So you're gonna get on both knees, a little bit further back from the bucket, try and get your butt as close to your feet as you can, and then you're actually gonna use your knee and your quad to support your firing arm elbow. So here I can get in position, it's a low position. My elbows are on my knees, providing me additional support. It does kind of sacrifice your firing grip a little bit, but it supports the rifle a lot better. So you can see how stable the rifle is. Break the shot, very stable, easily transver transversible uh, position if you're engaging multiple targets. The next one's gonna be your typical cross leg sitting. It takes a little bit longer to get into, but especially if you're engaging multiple targets or a very small target, if someone puts a quarter inch KYL rack at 50 yards and you need that stability, now you can put your elbows in the crooks of your knees. Again, make sure you're a little bit further back from the barricade so that if you need to get lower, you can bend over. Left hand is gonna support your buttstock while your right hand in your firing hand, manipulate the trigger. Nice stable position, much more stable than the double kneeling. Just like that, but it's more difficult to move from multiple targets because you're either having to sacrifice your position by pivoting at your hips, or you have to take the extra time to scoot your entire position over to engage another target. I hope this video helps you guys as you go to practice and shoot your monthly matches with utilizing the bucket to the best of your ability and helps you get more impacts on target. Have a good day.